medicine in a known amount even if your rate of getting cancer is very low it will trick for your body to react and get cancer or what is dangerous between malaria and diabetes malaria we can put you in medication a proper medication for at least three to four weeks and we clear all the parasites from your body but if you get diabetes we just give you some medication to keep you going but we know there's no treatment if you ask like that they'll say anyway but i i have to take this <laughs> so why because coming to africa those companies are making money by selling drugs and they will never say a group single word about africa have you ever seen a movie no. in america that's showing the good life that you're seeing here today where is the, where are those movies have you seen those nice buildings in arusha have you seen some wonderful buildings in dar es salaam when he was going to the art gallery the people are living in a very nice nice areas that is almost next to the life in america I know, I have never been to America, but I know from Europe, like Germany that I have been to, there's people living in a very difficult life than what we have here. But why? Because it's Africa, nobody's going to talk about Africa, nobody's going to tell the truth. They put a pile of wrong, wrong information, and that wrong information will make them to get money. Thanks God, thanks God today we have Google. Thank God, and you too. I can sell safari without relying to, 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 to a company from abroad. I just put my information on Google. Google has a trip advisor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. These people will read from this side and go to come to this side and conclude by coming to safari. And the big companies, like today if you go to the Abercrombie and Kent, I'm just using it as, a, as an example. Or you come to a big, big company that's selling safari, they will send you information. If you pay to the African, to the local Tanzanian, you may lose your money, you may get to the airport and he will not appear. It can maybe be true, but to what extent? So, happy that you're here, seeing this part of Africa, and when you get home, just pass the message. Tell them how beautiful it is. Like, I'm happy that you have been eating everywhere. Everywhere we, we went to. You people enjoy life. You eat like family. If I go with the tourists, like I'm talking in terms of Wazungu. If I go with the Wazungu, I have to be really be careful of where I'm taking them. I won't take a Mzungu to breakpoint, never. Because it's for locals. And it's been named that it's for locals. They cannot eat a grilled fish and a charcoal. But if it's a restaurant that's run by a Mzungu and he's grilling the same fish in a charcoal stove, they will eat it because it comes from the hand of the devil. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Hand of the white devil. Yeah. So I'm happy that you're here to see by yourself. And I'm very positive to to say that uh, people will really trust you because you have been here. People will really love to see or do what you have been doing. So posting your videos, telling our, our fellow friends that come to Africa, enjoy Africa, it will help us a lot to be our to be in our own life why you have seen by yourself how the white people will flood all the business and you don't get the room and they do that not because they are very rich they do that to discourage the system so that we give up and say it's for them yeah so absolutely to to overcome that system we need to encourage our people, thanks to my country, to my government, that after this COVID thing, they started, they have started encouraging the safari for the locals.
this year the, the national parks are not being supported by the locals. National parks are being, I, I mean, this year the national parks are not being supported by the tourists. Let me correct myself. It's been supported by the locals. Why? Because the government decided to encourage uh, within the country tourism that our people can fly to Serengeti, our people can drive to Serengeti. Before that, nobody was even thinking of telling the locals, like, you are a bank in Tanzania. You are an NGO, a non-governmental organization. Why should you not just put together yourself and travel to the Serengeti? And now they have started this growing. And if you tell our fellow brothers and sisters abroad, they can come and enjoy it. It cannot make a jump and get to the point you want it today, but the seed has to be in the soil for it to grow. So if you go and spread the seeds, it will grow and get bigger. Um, the last thing I want to say before the Wilfred will take over, when we get to, 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 to Zanzibar, Narrow Street, you don't need to hang your bag in your chest like in the Dar es Salaam city. The population here is about 1.4, million people. It's almost they know each other. <laughs> and the good thing is 90% are Muslim. They apply the Muslim law, Sharia. Sharia. So do not expect somebody grabbing your value. And by saying so, I'm not saying like just you're in, in the world. Just don't keep, take care of your thing, valuables. Take care of your valuables, but it's not as dangerous. And it is when you are in a traffic light in Dar es Salaam, traffic light in, uh, in Arusha. Yes, in Arusha, you have to be careful because we have like 30% of unemployed young people. They're looking for the daily bread. It's like the way the fly will come and land in your plate. You have not just food for a fly. You buy your food and you want to enjoy the, the fly will come and sit on it and you cannot eat it anymore. So that's what is happening. People are looking for daily bread. Um, after we finish with the stone town to the prison island, there is more relaxed. And getting into the boat, getting off the boat, we will take off the shoes. I have seen all of you, some of you, I not all, but some of you are carrying the water friendly shoes. But for me, I will take my shoes off, get into the boat, and even if you walk with your shoes into the water, it's clean water, it's clear water, and when you get to the lodge, they can wash and dry it for you. So it's easy. Life cannot be complicated if inside the brain is not complicated. Thank you.